So I, I know all of, I think I know all of you. I know most of you. And I, I'm, I'm here because of, we, we all, as we all know, one of our, one of our own, I guess I'm not really part of the city runnings, but I kind of want to feel like it. One of our own got in a little trouble. And me being a guy that owns a bar, that I'm very adamant about um, drinking and driving and how you conduct yourself when you are drinking. I, I come here to, and, and just like I told the young man already, is that, um, you know, people make mistakes. And, and don't beat yourself up over it, Sergio. What you do is you be a better person because of it. And you already are. Why I backed you up and why I think you're a great council member is because of all the things I know that you've done. Um, other people have voiced the things that you've done, how you give your time to the Nas Army National Guard, how you give your time to volunteer work do throughout the community to help others. You need to do it 10 times more now to get the forgiveness, especially when this man's over here, because this man lost you know the story. It's like the worst time something like this could happen for you or anybody in Elk Grove. And I just want to tell you, the guy that made a million and one bad choices, thank God it never resulted in the loss of anybody's life. And thank God that didn't happen while you were driving or I wouldn't be here. But you know what? I'm going to tell you, you're a good man and you, you deserve people to stand behind you and walk with you through this. And I know that you could change a lot of people's minds on drinking and driving if that's what you want to put yourself out to do. And I think that you owe the community, you owe yourself, you owe your family, you owe me. I believe in you, and I still do. But buddy, you got to make, you got to show people, you got to rise above, you got to talk to that man right there. You got to ask him, hey, what can I do as Sergio Robles to, to make this right with this community? And thank God, Sergio, that you're not dead and that nobody else is dead. And I, we just drove a lady home. My son just drove a lady home. I'm not going to say her name, but she's a very wealthy, wealthy lady in this community. Fell off the wagon of drinking. But she'd been not drinking for two years. She fell off. She was in my bar yesterday. It's kind of weird. And, and my son gave her a ride home. And in her car, and his girlfriend came and picked her up after we got to be in 7 o'clock at graduation for his brother. But, dude, this happened around 6 o'clock. We just made it. But, man, we got her home safe. She made the right choice. And that's what you got to do. You got to put yourself, well, you got to quit drinking is what I think you got to do. Tell you the honest, God, truth. And I'll tell people that. I'm not nobody's boss, but I'm going to tell you, take a breather. Concentrate on getting into this and getting into getting people like this guy right here. Because I tell you, that people don't like what you did. It's not good. But, buddy, you are a good person. And, and you need to forgive yourself and Thank step you, on through it. And I love Thank you. And, Bobby, I don't want to make light of it. Thank you. Um, thank you. Next up is uh, Mark Graham.